Hey YouTube, it's your girl Toy Sharika. And I'm in the car. And it's another Monday. Another Monday. Another Monday. And today, before we get started, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And continue to support me. I am up to 60 subscribers. I am so happy. So happy. So happy. I am so happy. I don't sound like I'm happy, but I'm happy. I need more supporters. I need more people to watch. More people to subscribe. I need that. I need it. I'm trying to get my goal to a thousand. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers and all I want want people to watch me hear my stories see what I'm going through feel what I'm going through because it ain't easy honey it's not and every time that damn um evil baby daddy comes around it seems like I just get another gut punch in the stomach <laughs> Ooh. I'm getting better with not was now arguing with him. I'm getting better with that. But it seemed like that ain't good enough for him. Because a person like me and Andrew, he must take your soul. I stopped trying to argue with him. I do speak my mind. And I mean what I say. But he just don't he just don't wanna let up. He don't. <sighs> I try to keep my emotions in check, especially when it comes to my children. I know they know that I hurt when he comes around with that nonsense. Excuse me, God dang. When he comes around with that nonsense. They know, but they there's nothing they can do. They got an ignorant daddy. They have an ignorant daddy. Face, I mean, they on Facebook, YouTube. Ask me, I want to know something. If a man is married and he decides to leave his wife <clears throat> for another woman and so he moves in with that woman she knows he has kids, young kids so what rights do she have when it comes to my children when it comes to things that haven't been resolved in our marriage. What rights does she have? What say so does she have? Because uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time trying to wrap my head around it. Because she's a low down motherfucker too. She low down. But she don't want these problems with me. She don't. She don't need problem with me. Because I'm a different type of animal. <clears throat> and I try to keep that part of me. Sorry, y'all. And I try to keep that part of me. Inside. I try to keep that part of me. Inside of me. You know, like the Incredible Hulk. You know, David Banner. You know, he's that nerdy dude. You know, like, but you know, the minute you get him. Fire high, fire high, fire hot, mad. He busting out his clothes. He turning green. He muscle bound. That's the way I feel. That's the way I feel. And I turn into the motherfucking Hulk. I got a candy bar this morning, y'all.
that's the way I feel. And I'm so scared. I'm so scared that I might fuck around and do something that I'm going to regret. Or do something to just do something, period, that I'm going to regret. Because I feel like I'm being pushed to the edge. I feel like I'm being pushed to the edge. I feel like... <clears throat> wow. I can't even get that together. I feel like... His sole purpose and mission... Is to send me to... The mental health... The mental health hospital. Mental health hospital. And let me... And so I can admit myself as a patient. So he can take my children. That's what I feel like. But I'm holding on. I'm holding on because I won't give them that pleasure. Another woman would not be raising my kids. Another woman won't be raising my kids. And especially that one. She can't even keep her legs closed to married men. So they won't they won't get that satisfaction. He think he's smart, but he ain't smart. He got his coach girlfriend in his M. So, Friday and Saturday and yesterday, Sunday, he coming over here harassing me about our damn marriage certificate, a marriage license, cause he want a copy of it. He want to see it, but he want he thought he was gonna take the whole the, uh, the original. No, honey, you ain't getting the original. I give you the copy. It's legit. It's legit. The marriage, the marriage certificate, the marriage license, is legit. We got married in Port Garden. 2008, March the 10th. We got married. There ain't nothing she can do about it. But cry. But cry about it. Ain't nothing she can do about the shit. Last night, I had a hard time sleeping because all I thought about was these two bastards showing up in my front yard Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon. And I felt so hurt because that wasn't right. That wasn't right at all. I don't know where this lady live at. I don't know where this lady live at. All I know is she probably lives somewhere between Bakington, Georgia, Albany, Georgia, Camilla, Georgia, or America's Georgia. She live in one of them, them places. And from the looks of them places, they ain't shit. They they they, they ain't shit. It's like Hull and Nocacy. Ain't shit. She want to put on this persona. Hold on. I don't want to answer that phone. I don't. I don't. She want to put on their persona like she holier than thou. She's so Christian like because she had a position in the church. She was a first lady. Somebody that's supposed to be helping young people about life and life situations. She can't do that no more. But she wants to put on this persona like she's such a holy lady, so Christified and all that old stupid shit. But she just as evil and rotten as being is. She evil and rotten.
she was evil and rotten because she, as a grown woman with kids, now that they're grown, her kids are grown. No, you don't supposed to bring your fuck ass to the wife's house. You let Ben pump you up to bring your low life ass to my house. I don't know where you live at at all, honey. I don't know where you live at at all. I don't know where you live at at all. But you think it's fair for you to come to my house and disrespect me. He think it's okay to disrespect me. He think it's okay to bring his mistress, his whore, to my house where I live at, where my children live at. He don't have no ifs, ands, no queens, no concern, no nothing about that foul shit. In his mind, he thinks it's okay. He, th he thinks it's okay. Simple fact. Because she can be on his arm when he go go out to Florida or wherever they go at in the restaurants. She looks, she looks, she thinks she look good on his arm. He eating it up. He eating it up. He eating it up. But at the same time, he using the hell out of her, and she too stupid to see it. That lady might look good on his arm, but she don't have a fucking clue what she what she don't got herself into. Especially when she fucking with me and my children. Yeah, Any grown woman in this position, if and then she know she's going away with a man that's married. Any grown woman that's called herself going with a married man. And knowing he got children and a wife, she should have had her ass somewhere to try to contact me and talk to me about me and my kids. My do's and my don'ts and my expectations when she's around my kids. She should have did that. She should have did that. I don't, it's not my job. It's not my job to hunt her down and call her and try to make an appointment to see her about my kids. It's not my job to do that. It's not my job. I am the wife. I am the wife. I have first priority. I have first priority. Because if anything happened to his dumb ass, they gonna be looking for me, not you. You won't be making no kind of decision. If anything happened to him, why? I'm still married to him. So, a dog is due respect. Bitch, respect me. You respect me. You respect me. Because if the shoe is on the other foot and I don't mess around with married men, if the shoe is on the foot, I would have gave you your respect. I would have gave you your respect. But you know what, though? It's how you get him, it's how you lose him. Because, baby, he still a fucking dog. And if he's seeing you, like he said he's seeing you, he's seeing five more other ones. But he could tell you the sky is purple, and you're going to go outside and say, yeah, it's purple. Because you're going to eat that bullshit up. 
Has you have he started hollering and screaming at you yet? Huh? Have you started putting you down? Has you started criticizing everything you fucking do? Huh? You know he ain't got no motherfucking driving license, and yet you let him driving. You let him drive your car around like you drive my damn Durango around. I didn't have a problem with you, lady. I didn't. But the way you moving, the way you move, and what you're doing is disrespectful to me and my kids. You telling him to give me some money every week, and it ain't even fucking enough. It's not even enough. It's not enough. $200 with two boys, two growing boys, that ain't enough. That ain't enough to do nothing with. And then when he come around, all he want to do is send him to McDonald's. He won't even spend time with his own kids one-on-one -on -one or by themselves, together. He got to drag his old bitch girlfriend with him. She ain't had no business going on no damn trip with them this weekend. I have two boys, not girls. She... Tagging along like a third wheel, but she had to come because she paying for the paying for the chuck and cheese. She paid for the old navy outfit and all that, so she had to come because he probably ain't had no motherfucking money. He don't keep no money. Cause if I know like I know, he still got a gambling problem. He still spending all his money on um lottery tickets and bitches. He sure is. Being Aaron to you, the scum of the motherfucking earth. You the scum of the motherfucking earth. You the scum of the motherfucking earth. All I ever did was try to help you. All I ever did was try to help you. I was there for you when nobody else was there for you. And this is the thanks I get. This is the thanks I get from you. Hmm? Hmm? But you mad at me. Cause I ain't gonna, I'm not going, I'm not going to let you be with me and another bitch at the same time. You mad with me because I put you out the house. You mad with me. You mad with me, but I'm still helping your dumb ass. I'm still helping your dumb ass. I'm stupid too. I'm still helping your ass. I'm allowing you to drive my damn Durango, my black Durango. I'm still helping your ass, but you got to be mean and nasty to me. For no apparent reason. Just because I'm telling my truth. Ain't nothing on him, on these videos I'm making, is a lie. Nothing is a lie. Everything is facts. And you so fucking bothered. You have a record of mistreating women, abusing women. You have a record of that. Really? All I want from y'all two silly motherfuckers is to get y'all life and go drive off a cliff. Get y'all stuff together and go drive off a cliff. Because you, Miss Lady, you, Miss Lady, you, Miss Lady, you done lost your motherfucking mind fucking with me. And with that being said, I'm going to get off this camera, take my ass home, get a shower, and get ready for the day. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And I will talk to y'all folks later on in the evening.